So we've bought hundreds and hundreds of property. I was actually just going back through and how many units total we bought. And we bought almost 700 units total thus far that we've actually had as rental property. But I wanted to talk about what was the difference from the first property that we bought to the second, third, and fourth, and how it's gotten easier over the years. As always guys, I'm the Flippin' Landlord Ninja and we are Two Guys Take on Real Estate. Two guys take on real estate. My first property we bought, which was back about 13 years ago with Kevin, was a duplex over up on Upper Union Street in uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. And boy, it was nerve wracking. We were very nervous about putting the offer in. We didn't know what to expect. We got home inspectors in there. We had uh, contractors in there. We, we really tried to make sure we were doing all of our due diligence. And, uh, but the, the process is we were just, we wanted to make sure we got an offer in there. We wanted to get our first property, it was so important. And honestly, the, the biggest, biggest take home I would say is that from the first to the second and third and so on was that really it's all about your numbers. Don't let emotions get involved. Once emotions get involved, that's when you start overpaying for property. You start overpaying and then you're getting in over your head and that's when you generally fail at whether it be a buy and hold or, or even a flip. So I really make sure you actually run your numbers clearly and stick to those numbers. Don't ever let emotions get you know the better of you and overpay for a property. You know, early on we first used home inspectors. That was the big thing, you know, get a home inspector, which makes a lot of sense. You can definitely still do that. But for the sake of time, as you've gotten more and more experience, we understand what things cost, kitchens, baths, roofs, all that kind of stuff. So in general, we either bring our own contractors through the property which I'd rather have that than a home inspector. Some of them are great, but they'll often point out stuff that's irrelevant and they're more for the home buyer that's gonna be living there and stuff like that. They're generally not the best for investors. Whereas a contractor, they're gonna let you know what you, they, it's gonna really cost you to place the kitchen, get the bathroom all fully modeled and everything like that. Make sure you're you know getting your new heating system that's gonna maximize your rental uh, income from that property. And so, I really recommend that you start working really closely with your contractors, building great relationships with the contractor. That was the biggest thing that kind of went from the first and third or fourth property where I just started making sure we had really good relationships with our contractors, making sure they're paid when they're done with the work, they're getting paid generally within a few hours after inspecting the property and that the work is completed as they said it was, which has been really helpful. And uh, that was the next kind of level of are buying in the process. Other than that, I mean, the other thing that really kind of made the difference over the last year, few years is actually uh, early on, we were thinking we needed to keep our costs down as much as possible we're renovating. And so early on we were trying to skimp out on, oh, we don't need to spend the extra money for that tub surround. Let's just get the cheap tub surround. Let's just get sticky tile. Uh, let's get, you know, all the cheap, you know, laminate countertops, stuff like that. Nowadays, we're definitely focusing on higher end fixes. Now we're thinking durability is our main, main focus. So for instance, in a kitchen like this, let's put granite in and that's gonna last a lot longer than just a laminate countertop. We're gonna work with doing a luxury vinyl flooring as opposed to some sticky tile that just comes up. You, you're thinking long-term, you want you know, it to look good, but also have long-term durability with a tenancy so that you're not going back and replacing all that stuff. We're always looking at, and we always have from the beginning, making sure they're all lead safe, all that kind of asbestos removal, all that kind of stuff, mold. We definitely wanna get the, all that out of the property. But now, once again, we're making sure if we spend a little bit more on, let's get rid of the plaster Paris and put sheetrock in. Let's, you know, put a brand new boiler in. Let's put a new AC unit in, stuff like that, so that we're not having to worry about it mid winter and replacing it when uh, it's much harder than you have to put the uh, tenants up for a, a night or so. Uh, let's get it you know, looked at now so that we don't have to deal with that later. Getting things like wallpaper, get that removed. Don't have to deal with it later on. This, these things are uh, the things that we're looking at now. So we're also looking at like in the bathrooms, making sure we go back with like a three piece caulkless tub, uh, as opposed to something that's got a tub surround that you gotta have to re-caulk all the time. These are the things that we're looking at when we're now looking at these properties so that we can save that 10 year lithium ion batteries for the smoke detectors. You know, that's kind of stuff so that we're not worrying about that going forward. Newer, you know, exterior doors, storm doors that instead of paying the cheap 
$50 storm door and let's pay a $200 nice storm door that's solid that will last a lot longer and hold up to the wear and tear. But yeah, these are the things that you really should start looking at and considering early on. These are the things that we've learned over the years of doing this and after hundreds and hundreds of properties. And if you can start thinking about this way now, that will help you in the first one. Don't you learn from our mistakes so you don't have to make the same things. So everyone, I hope this was helpful. If you want to learn more about house flipping, check out this video here. And as always, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.